You are watching a tutorial on how to perform the inner screen COVID-19 antigen rapid self-testing device for the qualitative detection of SARS-CoV-2 viral nucleoprotein antigens in human nasal samples. Follow the test instructions carefully to get an accurate result. Do not use the test on a child under 2 years old. For children 2 to 15 years old, the test should be performed by an adult. Unpack the test components. Do not discard the box. Ensure you have all the components required as specified on the packaging. Do not use if they are expired or damaged. Ensure that the test device is at room temperature before starting. Lay down the components on a clear and clean surface. To perform the tests, you will need Instructions for use One single-use sterile swab for collecting the sample One extraction tube One individually packed test device one waste bag. You will additionally need a timer and tissues. Read the instructions for use thoroughly. If you have any doubts, you may call the helpline number, or you may also scan the QR code on the instructions to watch the tutorial and get familiarized with the testing procedure. Before you start the test procedure, gently blow your nose into a tissue to remove excess mucus. Wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, or use hand sanitizer. Remove the test cassette from the pouch and place it on a clean surface. Do not touch the test window. Insert the extraction tube into the hole on the box. Unscrew the blue cap. Keep the cap aside. Do not discard it. Open the swab from the end marked peel here and remove the swab. Do not touch the swab tip. Gently insert the swab about 1 to 2 centimeters into the right nostril, rubbing against the nasal wall in a circular motion for at least 5 times for a total of 15 seconds. Remove the swab and repeat the process with the left nostril. The sample is collected by the swab when it brushes against the walls of the nasal path. Place the swab into the extraction tube and break off the handle at the break point. Discard the break off handle. Make sure the tip of the swab is first in the solution within the tube. Replace the blue cap on the tube. Squeeze the lower part of the tube against the swab tip inside the tube 15 times. When the swab head is squeezed, the sample is released and mixed in the solution in the tube. Unscrew the white cap of the tube. Invert the tube and then gently squeeze the tube to add three full drops of the solution to the sample well marked S on the cassette. Start the timer and read the results in 15 minutes. Results should not be read after 20 minutes. Once the test is complete, you may read the results as shown in the Interpreting the Results section. Two lines, one in the Control Line region and another one in the Test Line region, indicates a positive result. The colouring in the Test Line region may be faint. Any pink or purple line visible next to T is considered positive. A positive result should be checked by a PCR. Test for follow-up and clinical care. If only the control line appears and not the test line, the result is negative. The control line indicates that the test has been performed correctly and should always be present. If no control line appears, the result is invalid. Repeat the test with a new cassette. After reading the result, place all the components in the plastic bag provided and dispose into a general waste bin. If you need any support, you can call the helpline provided in the instructions for use.